Hello everyone. Today I'm going to attempt to dye some white bras to match my outfits. I have some outfits laid out here. I have um, some off the shoulder shirts that I like to wear bras with, but I don't, can't find bras that's my size and colors to match. So I'm going to dye some. I don't know why I didn't think of this first. I have pink and I have these shorts and these pants to wear with it. The yellow these shorts and these pants turquoise shorts and pants here's my white bras just scattered throughout and there's the tie-dye kit here's another tie-dye kit and this is soda ash it's a tie-dye enhancer i guess to make the colors more vibrant but yes guys that's one of the problems with bigger breasts like mine you don't have um many options of colors bras usually i can find a good white black or beige bra that's going to really fit me well and like i said i don't know why i didn't think of this before now i hope that these bras die with the tie dye i've never tried it before and lord knows that i, I hope that it works otherwise because i'm gonna be doing them all at the same time um otherwise i'll be kind of like out of a hundred dollars these bras are like twenty dollars each but I still be able to wear them under other clothes. But I just hope and pray that it works with the tie-dye. I'm wondering if I need to get just regular dye. Maybe I'll do a little bit of more research before I do it, guys. But yes. And I'm also going to be doing burgundy for a burgundy outfit. Um, with this wine color. And I'm going to be doing red, too. Because I wear quite a bit of red off the shoulder. So let me go ahead and get started. Guys, so I got my colors. This is the burgundy, the green, pink, red, and yellow. So what I'm supposed to do first is use this soda ash. And it says, pre-treats fabric for superior dye absorption and color vibrancy. So what I'm supposed to do is wear gloves, avoid skin contact. Basically fill a bucket with one gallon of water. It doesn't say whether it should be warm or cold soak the fabric for 20 minutes squeeze out excess moisture do not rinse tie dye fabric using desired technique so i'll go ahead and do that and then on the tie dye instructions it says fill to line with water shake until dissolve i'm supposed to um go ahead and put the tie dye on let it sit for six to eight hours then rinse and wash now do you see how much powder is in here? It's a very little, but I'm supposed to fill it to the top. Now, I really want these bras to be very vibrant, so I'm only going to fill them halfway because I want as much color as possible. I know it says fill it all the way, but I'm not going to do that. And I'm not trying to tie dye these. I'm just trying to solid color dye them. So I'm going to cross my fingers and my toes. And guys, wish me well, because if this works for me, then it can work for you, ladies. So the soda ash came with two packs. It's for um, one treats, one gallon of water. And I think, I don't know for sure, but I know this is more than one gallon. It might be about two gallons. And I'm going to go ahead and soak all the bras at one time. And while it's soaking for the 20 minutes, I didn't know that I was going to do soda ash when I went to the store and how it went. But anyway, I wasn't planning on doing this when I went to the store, so I really wasn't prepared. I have to run the Dollar Tree to um, get five individual containers for the five individual colors. It comes with gloves, guys. It wants you to use gloves, but I am not touching this. I'm going to be very careful. Careful. I can't even talk today. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir this up until it dissolves. Now, I'm going to go ahead and drop the bras in. Um, now, when I wring these out, because after you wring them out, you don't rinse the soda ash off, I will be putting the gloves on then, but I don't need them right now. So, I'm going to go. I pray that these turn out. I really need these. I am going to go to Walmart, not Walmart, Dollar Tree, and get five containers that will hold each bra. And, guys, I'll be back. So, guys, I don't know if this is going to work, but I have to make it work. I don't know what I was thinking about. I went to Dollar Tree and got these big um, containers thinking that 
I'm going to mix the dye with water and just let it soak. But that's not how tie-dye go. That's why the bottle's so small and you fill the whole thing up and you kind of just squirt a little bit on the shirt. It's so concentrated. I don't know what I was thinking about. I probably should have gotten regular dye, but I just thought that since tie-dye colors are so vibrant that they would work better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this for each individual color first, then wash it out. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a bra and I'm going to dye the bra strap first and then the top portion of the front and the back in the of the bar um that may show definitely the strap show and then i'll put the rest on the bra and put it in here i hope that works but let me try that so guys this is what it's looking like so far i guess this bra is made of different materials so it's taking more um better on different parts so the bra i made sure i covered the straps that's the most important part for me the straps they're nice and covered so what I'm going to do is go ahead and pop it in the container and pour the rest of the, um, oh shoot. pour the rest of the dye in there. And I'm just going to do this for all of the rest of them and just see what it turns out like. And I'll be back when I get them all done. This is what it looks like under the bottom. It's a lot of liquid, so I put the bra straps on the bottom so that all the liquid can, you know, direct itself toward the bottom of the bra straps. That's the most important part. So this is what we got so far. This is the pink. This is the wine, turquoise, yellow, and red. Um, I use two different brands, Tulip and some other brand. I noticed that the Tulip brand, the colors are more vibrant. And I really want this to work out. I'm going to let these sit for more than eight hours. I'm going to let them sit overnight. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little research to see if I can just go ahead and add real clothing dye on here on top of this, which I should have did. If not, then I'm just going to go and buy another set of tie dye to add because it really wasn't enough. I made it work just to ensure that these come out right because I spent too much money and my outfits are too cute for this not to work. So I'll be back. Guys, it's storming outside so I didn't go to Walmart. But as you can see, that red is darker and that yellow is a lot darker. So what I did, I did some research and I saw that food coloring, which I already had at home, was an acid base and that bra material likes to be dyed with acid base. So we're going to let this soak for at least um, overnight, at least 12 hours. And I'll come back and show you guys the final results. Also, I'm going to be shaking these up from time to time. Just to make sure that, because I don't have a whole bunch of dye in there, just making sure that the colors get evenly distributed. And next time I do this, I'm going to make sure I use clothing dye. But the tie dye might be better for it. I'm not sure. But I know that um, I'll get pretty good results. And if it fades over time and I re-dye it, then I'll probably re-dye them with clothing dye. Guys, I'm at Dollar Tree. And I just saw on the news recently how a building in Florida just collapsed. And this Dollar Tree, this thing is like straight about to come down. It's like broken bent. You can't really see it that good on this camera. But it's literally like leaning. This is off of the foundation. Wow. I hope this Dollar Tree don't fall down with customers in it. If it do, hopefully everybody will be after hours. Guys, so what I did is um, I really thought about it. And I should have did more research, so please forgive me. I'm a type of person, I'm such a perfectionist, and a lot of things just come to me natural. And, um, and I just get them on the first time. No research, just do it naturally. But this quite a, required a little extra research. So what I did was I took them out of the containers rinse those out put them into plastic walmart bags and then in a, another bag it just make sure it didn't zip um drip that way it can absorb more of the color and i looked at them and they looking they are looking pretty good guys so far but they've only been soaking for 12 hours i'm gonna let them soak for 24 hours i'm gonna go ahead and just pop them back into the containers 
and put the top on them and just forget about them for another 12 hours. So let's talk about the title of the video, Manifesting. Manifesting, they say, uh, manifesting, they told us in church, manifest things as, manifest, manifest things that are not as though they were. And that's all I heard. I didn't know how to manifest. I just heard manifesting. But I promise you that God is not just going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you can't receive. Manifesting simply means going after, visioning it first, visualizing, and then taking the proper procedures to go after whatever that is. So I wanted the video to grab attention, but we did manifest these bras. So we actually did the work to get these bras dyed to match our cute little outfits so that's what that's about guys and you can do that with not just bras you can do that with your career um, relationships anything that you want you're able to manifest and get that so I'll be back in 24 hours after I rinse these out with cold water wash them in a mild wool light -like detergent let them air dry because I don't want this video to be too long. It's already long enough. So guys, when I rinsed that out, it did not really stick well. It sticked to some of the parts of the fabric. I think that was cotton to the straps a little bit. But as soon as I started rinsing, I can't believe how it just came out. I should have did more research. But about the manifesting, I just want you guys to know, that's still part of manifesting. Because if you... Um, if it doesn't come out perfect, whatever your venture is, whether it's business, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, um, that you don't give up because it didn't work the way you wanted it to work or thought it would work the first time. You don't give up. You continue to do what you need to do until you bring that business to life or whatever it is that you're manifesting so, I am going to go and find some acid-based dye. Um, going to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joanne Fabrics. I'm sure that I can buy it there. I heard that the RIT dye was acid-based. So, I'm going to do that, and I promise you, I'm going to get these bras dyed. You just watch and see. That's part of manifesting. So, um, the moral to this story is just you, you don't give up. Up because something don't work out the way you wanted it to you continue to try that's what manifesting is um, so just continue to watch this video and hopefully they'll come out halfway decent thank you guys for being patient and I know I should have researched but I'm kind of used to things just coming to me naturally I want to show you what each one came out looking like. Now, this was the red. I did like the way it dyed all the flowers in there pink. Now, this bra is nice. I can wear this like it is, but it's so light. I don't need it pink. And it kind of like got these colors. That I guess that's cotton. So, I went and I'm going to correct this. I really got red dye more. And this is for the synthetic fabrics. Um, polyester, nylon, acrylic, and so on and so forth. The other regular red all purpose is for cotton fabrics and other cottons, but this is supposed to dye the bras. And I have the color stay dye fixative. After I um, finish dyeing it, before I rinse it, I'm supposed to spray it with that. That enhances and keeps the color. But this one turned out pretty good. It's just not the color that I wanted. Let me show you the other ones, and then I'm going to just go ahead. These you use hot water with, kind of like boiling the dye in. And I'm going to go ahead and um, correct this, manifest these bras I need. I'm going to need one by tomorrow in less than 24 hours for the uh, 4th of July holiday. Burgundy or wine. This inside has to be caught and it dyed so well. And the outside is so many. Bras have so many um, different materials. That, that just don't look good at all. And the strap's kind of pinkish. So we'll be correcting that. Next one. Turquoise or teal. Now I would say out of all of them, this one dyed the best. But still not the color I want. That looks kind of teal, but then it looks kind of yellowish greenish. And that was the outside, the lace. But down here, you can see that it's still kind of light. And that's the inside. 
next one. Now this yellow one barely caught color. And I'm not sure if that's because I mixed food coloring in with it. But the red one, I mixed it in with that too. It's very, very light yellow and white in most places. Lord, I hope I can fix it. Otherwise, I spent a lot of money, guys. Last one. Pink, it dyed pretty good, too. Uh, whatever this material is, I probably should have chosen all the bras. But I like different bras. But this pink took here. It didn't take there. Took very well on the end of the straps where you kind of tighten it up at. But um, on the front top, it didn't. But underneath the strap, it did. So... Let's see what happens. I know the video's gotten long, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do all these steps. The moral of the story is manifest what you want. Don't give up. Keep working at it until you get it. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to go ahead through the procedure and come back and show you the final product using the dye. You already see what the mess looked like, which is not bad. I mean, I can wash these bras and still wear them, but they're not what I need. So I'll be back with the final product. Or I might come back in between, guys. I'm not sure. I just don't want the video long because people don't like watching long videos. Hey, guys. So I have to use the stove top boiling method. And I only have four burners, so I can only do four at a time. And I need that burgundy, that maroon. So I was, I couldn't find wine in the Ritmore Dye More. So I researched and I can mix the, not the pink, Anyways, I can mix the pink and brown together and get maroon or burgundy, but I'm going to mix the red and brown together. So not the pink, but the red and brown. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my yellow and my teal. And I'll just do the red bra later because I really don't need that right away. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these. And I only need like, um, it says three gallons of water per two pound fabric and two pounds of fabric only a half but I really want these to die so I don't even have a whole gallon of water and I'm, I'm gonna use half okay now that's more like it guys should have did this in the first place but I didn't so I have my colors going got my bras in everything looks like it's going fine just like it did before it looked like it was gonna die but actually these colors look a lot vibrant and I kept the spoon in because I have to constantly, um, this is the pink, I have to constantly, you probably can't see through the steam, constantly stir for even color. So we have four different colors going on with four different spoons. Can you see that? Ooh, that's going to be nice. See, I'm going to turn the light on. Let's see. Well, you'll see the color really. Look at that yellow. It's coming out really, really well. So you have to have enough water so that the garment can move around freely. Oh, Lord. Okay, I didn't drop too much. So we are boiling bras, manifesting any color we want to match our beautiful off-the-shoulder dresses and shirts. And this time, because this video is getting longer and longer, I will come back with the final results. I'm not going to have red because I'm doing that at a later date. But I feel relieved to at least know that I still, um, even though I messed up, that I'm going to be able to achieve the results that I was looking for. Quick checkup. I just wanted to let you guys know that you have to use um, stainless steel pots. But these are doing very good. I am so pleased. Um, I really was concerned with the straps getting dyed. And all of my straps are nicely dyed. Nicely vibrant. And this is actually, guys, this is my first time doing something and, like, really... Well, I didn't really mess up because I was able to fix it. But like I said, a lot of things just automatically come natural and I just do them... Um, but this is the first thing that I tried to do that I should have researched on. But those, look at the strap. Nice and dyed. Look at this yellow strap. Yes. Stainless steel pots, guys. Now I'm just getting the color state dye fixative. 
which is a um, color enhancer or makes it stick or stay longer just getting it ready because after I get it out of the water before I rinse it I have to spray it with that so I'm only going to show you how I've sprayed one of them with it and then um, just do them all and I think I'm going to go ahead and do my red too because I want to go ahead and just do them all get it over with to show you what the fixative look is like I thought it was going to be clear but it's actually like a a little beige little light golden color let's see what it smells like I can't really smell it I didn't put it all the way up to my nose it doesn't have a smell so you're supposed to let this dye bath you know die for like 10 to 20 minutes it's been about 20 what I'm going to do is just put these back into my container like this by the way this is a red bra and I'm going to let these sit for a couple of hours it doesn't say that but for some reason I just want to make sure that this color sticks so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to go ahead and boil my red one look at there look at there I'm so excited they came out so nice the red actually came out the wine burgundy color that I was looking for look how vibrant the yellow is look at the pink and these bras are made of different material and some material just took better than others with the tie-dye um, but with the with the right dye the red dye they took excellent now this one came out brown but that's okay I have brown clothing I needed a brown bra anyway I put a little bit too much brown with the red to get that burgundy and look at that they all came out amazing I'm so amazed so you can manifest anything that you want even a bra but the message was manifesting and not giving up a lot of people don't know what manifesting is manifesting is basically visualizing writing down the vision making it plain and going after it doing whatever it takes that's not against the law to get it done and i'm going to dye my earrings to match this yellow that i'm wearing tomorrow let me show you the earrings so the earrings are already a light yellow, but I want them darker. So I'm going to just um, use the microwave to do the water and use this yellow. And I'll show you what they look like. So see if you can um, look at the yellow in the bottle. It's that light color. There's a darker yellow. Hopefully I can get it that color or that color. So let's see if it's going to make a big difference. And it should. Yellow actually be looking like mustard color. Um, it don't even look like it's going to turn yellow, but on white it definitely does. But it's definitely yellow. So I just have them in a little teacup. This water got real hot. It was boiling. And I'm just going to stick them in here. I hope it don't mess it up. Like, on the, like that. Maybe I need a spoon to get it all in there. But anyway, I'll come back and show you the final results. Okay, so I'm going to let them sit in there for about 20 minutes. Since I'm not consistently boiling it on the stove, I might warm the water back up again. But since they was already yellow, they should be fine. I'm just going to let it sit in there for 20 minutes. And whatever color I get, it'll be darker than this color. Finished product. Can you guys tell the difference? I can. I like that color. Guys, I would like to thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And have an amazing day. And if you need to dye something, use Rit Dye More instead of Tie Dye.